Hello friends. So today I am going to start a new series for Coded UI Visual Studio automation testing. So let's start. So we are gonna start from creating our first project. Go to File, New, Project, Coded UI, Test Project. Give it a appropriate name. As I am giving my first app. So here now it's giving a two options record action, edit, map or add assertion. So these all options are for the record and playback. So if many of you already know about how the automation tool works. So there's always two, two options available like first is record and playback your actions. And another way of doing is programmically. So which I am going to do now but eventually I will also come to the record and playback section I will start that in a different series so let's start let's cancel it so here we are gonna write our code so we will start from a very basic code which what it will do it will just launch a internet explorer browser and it will also launch a web page like www.google.com so let's start so coded ui have some inbuilt function in the namespace so it's a browser right browser window so it have an inbuilt namespace or class browser window it have inbuilt method launch so write your URL it can be any URL so save it and see if it will work so this is a test explorer window so in this you can see whatever the methods you already created so you can see those methods will appear here so right now it's not appear here because we didn't build the solution so let's build the solution so immediately when we build the solution after that our coded UI test method is appearing so let's launch and see if it's working perfect so it working successfully so it finished successfully as you can see so let me enhance the code little bit to show you more options what are the more options we are using in some of us we can use in our daily base testing so those are very convenient methods so there is a playback dot wait so why I'm putting this wait over here just to tell you like after uh, running this method it will wait for a while because it immediately close the object so now it will wait for 5 seconds. Let's see if it will work. Alright, it launched the browser and URL. So now it's waited for 5 seconds and immediately it closes. So now we can enter another thing which is called in order to do that we have to put this browser window object in a variable let's give it a name my browser all right so now all the properties comes in my browser my browser we can use it as an object my browser dot draw highlight so now 
it will highlight the browser window so sometime it's very convenient to highlight some objects if we want to see what are those object so right now as you can see this blue line this is due to that where we wrote the draw highlight so right now it's waiting for 5 second and immediately it closed so let's enhance this method more let's write if else condition based on that where we can pass or fail our test case so let's see my browser if my browser is existing then what I want to write in my output file test context dot write line browser is existing else what we want to write we will copy the same code we have to just add a browser is not existing so this is the condition I made just click run alright so now let's see what will be the output so according to our condition it should say browser is existing okay so before that you have seen this output file was not available but as soon as we wrote this test context dot write line it have a output so let's see what is in the output okay browser is existing so it means it passed alright guys so this is pretty much for the this video uh, I will also keep posting some more informative videos in this series so please stay tuned. Thanks for watching guys. Thank you very much.